Now we are here at the conservation, painting conservation studio, which is a, a huge studio. Um, head of conservation is Yvonne Safran and four other conservators are working in this kind of departments where I'm be here with this large window. Um, fantastic is this north light um, and bright light. So um, uh, normally we never use the artificial light. Uh, the Californian sun is so strong and this is uh, wonderful for a conservator to have a kind of uh, uh, strong light here. The studio is um, uh, very practical and what is extraordinary is uh, the collaboration between the scientists and the conservators here at the museums. The scientists ha have a kind of uh, laboratories here next to the doors. So this gives me also a bridge, this uh, collaboration, scientist and conservator, to, uh, to the project. Why um, the Foundation Ballet is here with this um, uh, Picasso painting, uh, uh, women uh, sketch demoiselle from 1907. Uh, the painting is really, it's oil on canvas, uh, and it's really very special because it was done in that um, period when uh, Pablo Picasso worked on the Demoiselle Davignon painting, uh, the masterpiece which is now at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, you see here on my left side. In that period, from he worked from uh, spring 1907 to fall 1907 uh, on, this, on that, on that huge, huge canvas. And, um, he wanted to be better than Matisse and Dera and the Fauve and he worked really very hard. He did more than three, four hundred sketches, uh, drawings, aquarels um, and he did a lot of studies um, to make a really a, a strong, a very strong painting of that Bordel scene and also with these strong faces. And the Bayala painting was um, painted exactly in that period when he uh, decided in the last moment uh, to uh, make not these shaped faces which you see in the middle of the Demoiselle painting uh, but he, uh, he overpainted them with these African masks which we can see in the Bayerle painting. Um, Ernst Bayerle bought uh, the painting in 1965 from an Italian collect collector um, we, the archives uh, of provenance um, are uh, very good, but we had very little information about technical information and also about uh, uh, con con condition, conditional, co condition aspects. So my task uh, for that project um, was uh, here for me to make a kind of reconstruction what happened uh, with the painting in the last hundred years, because for conservative it is, was visible that there were some treatments on the painting. Um, firstly, I, in the first weeks I did um, uh, examinations uh, on microscope, so every millimeter of the uh, painting, and uh, at the same time we uh, did um, uh, imaging uh, analysis and uh, here at the Getty there were, were much more possibilities so uh, we did x-ray, uh, UV, a special infrared um, analysis uh, also with um, classical light so specular ranking and transmitted light um, examinations we can't do um, at the foundation bio. and this helped me to figure out uh, more knowledge about what how Picasso paints and uh, also to kind of um, interpret the, the condition. Um, simultaneously, we checked also the famous archives here um, at the uh, Getty Research Institute. And finally, I had also the opportunity um, during my stay, I flew to New York um, and I could um, examine uh, some of the paintings uh, from the Museum of Modern Art from the same period, uh, uh, which from 1907, the same period from the, as, as the Bayerle painting, and um, also discussed with Cham Conning, the 
um, head, head of conservation at the MoMA uh, about uh, Picasso's technique and uh, the condition and I had a, another opportunity to to see a, a painting in a private collection within a very pristine condition. Let me summarize some of the first results. Um, I can conclude that the painting is generally in a, in a good and in a stable condition and um